Hey, the next mechanism I want to show you that is designed by my CAD class students for their final project is a worm and a gear or worm gear and the wheel. So this is what you can see in lifting or hoisting mechanisms like a crane. So here they made this crane using the worm and the gear. So this guy here is inside, if you can see it. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this one here that kind of looks like a uh, thread, right? Like a bolt or something. This one here uh, is called the uh, worm. And this one here that meshes with it is called the worm gear or the wheel. Now, what does it do? So this worm gear has several important functionalities. The first one is if you look at the axis of rotation of the output, which is this, and the axis of the input, which is this, these two axes are skew axes. Okay, so it uh, transfers power between two skew axes. The next one is per one rotation of the worm, this wheel only goes forward or backward by only one tooth. So if this wheel, let's say, has 50 teeth on it, it reduces the RPM by a factor of 1 to 50, and for that same, almost that same ratio, increases the torque. So you can typically use this right after a DC motor to reduce the RPM and cre create a lot of torque with just one simple uh, mechanism and without a lot of gears in a gearbox, okay? That is the biggest advantage. And the other advantage, which is very important, is only the worm can spin the wheel, not the other way around. In other words, if you're lifting something like this load here, and then in the middle of lifting, this motor here stops working, guess what happens? If this system does not have the lock that the worm and gear does, this load is going to simply drop. But because this load is connected to the wheel and the wheel cannot backdrive the worm, this load is going to be kept locked up there and does not drop. So this system is motorized. You can turn it on and off and you can move it forward and backward. So let's go ahead and basically lower it, right? So you see we can lower it and you can see that here it is perfectly locked. And then we can what? We can go ahead and lift it like this. So hopefully you like this warm gear and learn about its uh, functionalities. Thank you.